We'll be talking about poop. Does it sound good? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oddly enough, this is a first thing you need, you need to know about poop is, is this. Poop is what, primarily? Waste. That's what Americans think. Excrement. Poop is bacteria. Okay. Um, it's mostly bacteria in your body. Okay. Um, now think about this. When you're born, um, when you're inside your mommy's belly, there is no bacteria inside your, your GI tract. You're completely sterile. And we think that as you pass through the birth canal, you get bacteria um, during that process. They try to correlate that with C-sections and stuff like that. I don't know. Not my field of expertise. But eventually, through hugging and squeezing, what's the first thing you do when you see a baby, by the kiss way? Kiss it. Yeah. You kiss it. And you guys realize we're just big tubes of piping, right? Everything that we go in our mouth has come out our booties. It's just one long pipe. So when you kiss a baby on the mouth, you're imparting your bacteria into them, right? And so do you, do you, do you kiss your baby or do you go around kissing random strangers' babies? Usually your own baby, right? <laughs> you know, so that's why you can find like certain illnesses and proclivities within a certain family group because you guys have been passed around the same bacteria. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so poop is bacteria. Number two, you've got more bacterial DNA in your body than human. So if you take all the DNA in all your cells, the human cells, we've got zillions and zillions of cells, you take your human DNA and then you take all the bacteria inside your body and take their DNA, you got more bacterial DNA <clears throat> than human DNA. Is that weird? Yeah. yeah. So basically, you guys are a bunch of walking bacteria. <laughs> Literally. Okay? So, now, this gets a little bit weirder. We have to realize that we're, just, we're mostly bacteria. All right? Now, the mitochondria, I'm taking you back to science. Who knows, who remembers what the mitochondria is inside your cell? Anyone know? Any nurses in the room? Anyone know? Come on! <laughs> it makes, it's called the power plant of the cell, it makes the energy. It's an organelle inside your cells, it makes all the energy. That's why y'all gotta pay attention to science. So, the mitochondria, at some point, they traced it back, it used to be a bacteria that your cell ingested and turned it into the power, point, uh, power plant to provide you all your energy, all your ATP and all that stuff. That keeps life running. In fact, you wouldn't be alive without mitochondria, right? Which means you wouldn't be alive without bacteria. Got it? All right, so number four. Bacteria, as it turns out, sends signals to um, our brains. <clears throat> Chemical signals to our brains. It's very kind of complicated, but this is kind of the latest research we're showing. So for example, <clears throat> they do things like, hey, we're kind of hungry, we need food. And they'll send signals to your brain that says, hey, feed us. It's kind of weird, right? Now they're starting, to, they're starting to do fecal transplants for things like C. diff colitis and things like that. But what they've done, uh, this is crazy, listen up. They will take bacteria, poop from a skinny person and do a fecal transplant to an obese person, and the obese person starts to lose weight. I heard that on the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta start thinking about this, okay? Now, there's a point why I'm telling you all this. One, proximity, right? Get around these people that know stuff like this. This is kinda, I spent this last weekend doing this. Now, so number five. Now listen, listen. So now, 
what's happened is modern society, pay attention, society, with everything, our cleanliness, your little gels and stuff, cleanliness, and especially our processed foods, has done and antibiotics and medicines, not all medicines, but a bunch of them, have done what? Killed, killed, killed the bacteria. bacteria. Yep, has disrupted our bacteria. Natural bacteria. So we have, so we think poop is bad, but there's actual, actually a natural state for your bacteria that needs to be in for you to be healthy. It's called gut health, right? Right. Now listen, I just told you our modern society with its processed foods has disrupted our natural bacteria. So the next thing inside your head, you're sitting there talking, well, I'm good, Dr. Vong, because I have my yogurt every morning. The yogurt's good for my, my bacteria. What's the right answer? No, really. no it's not. All those yogurts that y'all eat, I don't care if it comes from your doctor or nutritionist who's told you, it does not translate into healthy gut. Uh -uh. It does not. Uh -uh. You have fallen for a marketing machine. Fermented this, food. This is the shit that drives me nuts about modern medicine. It's so driven by making money. All right, so, so processed foods, fast foods, chips, sodas. Sodas is dumping a bunch of acid into your GI tract and asking your bacteria to survive. A high acid environment, it shouldn't. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, so what you need to do now is to start focusing back on your gut health. Now, question, the number one way of improving your gut health, your bacteria health is what? Not eat a skinny person, that's not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> eat healthy. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and veg. It's not yogurts, it's not meat, it's not ketogenic, it's not pro it's not, you know, caveman diet. It's eating fruits and vegetables. Because that's what the bacteria would naturally eat in the environment. That's what it means to, for things to decay. And fruits and veggies to decay. Does that make sense? Cool? That's crazy ass shit, right? Cool? Good? Like talking about poop? Yeah, love All right. Love want one more? <laughs> Dr. Vong here. If you like this video, I hope you will come learn from me live in person at my first ever Dr. V weekend workshop. I'm calling it Unleash the Sleeve Within. All right. So it's in Albuquerque, March 23rd through the 25th. There's a link to it below the video. I hope to see you there. Cool. Bye.